Yo, what's cracking and a poppin' and a poppin' and a crackin' handy snackins. Today we're gonna take a look at the Junkie on and we're gonna try some of this Evo Fusion gimmick out. Uh, there's no particular objective that we're trying to achieve. Like, I'm not trying to make anything in particular. I just wanna, I don't know, just wanna play, right? And so we're just, we're, we're just, we're just, we're just <laughs> dude, I swear caffeine. I think caffeine really kind of gets me tongue-tied and messes me up. And I chug a little bit, so I get a little bit of oomph-oomph before this video, but uh, it's kind of messing me up. But anyway, we're going to start just taking them apart. And uh, after doing so, I'm going to start commenting on each of the bits. And uh, yeah, I just want to say, if this is your first time to the channel, uh, it is your first time to the channel. And uh, I just want to say hello to all the new members, all the old members, all the medium members. I don't know. Everyone out there just want to say hello, salutations, without hesitation, and just watch as I'm, I was trying to make something with the word preparation, but whatever. Uh, yeah, you know, I mentioned in some of the other videos, like, these guys are, um, they're different, you know? Like, I actually like the weaponizers the best, and, and the modulators, they're, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still say I think I like the weaponizers and modulators the best. Fossilizers are pretty nice, too, and they're a slight twist. I think the fossilizers are the ones that um, have the most utility, uh, particularly guys like Paleotrax. Love me some Paleotrax. And um, I think these guys, the Junkions with the Evo Fusion, I think not... I don't want to say the worst. I just, I, I'll say I just think they have the least amount of versatility. Yeah. I'll just say that. And uh, I don't mean that in a bad way or anything like that. Because, oops, yo, his mouth just flew off. I was going to say, um, I'll just be super honest. When I got scrap hook in hand, I was vacationing in Vietnam. And uh, I was pretty let down. I was pretty let down. I thought he was going to come apart in a lot more places. And just this beast, this piece is really confounding. Because you can't really do anything with it. I often turn it into like a blaster and stuff like that. And, uh, I mean, of course, you can do things with it, but it's like, it doesn't play a role like a, like six gun, you know? Six gun's top portion comes off, the inner portion, it could become a hand. There's all sorts of things, but this is just a static piece. And I don't know if it's because they wanted to preserve that functionality of like, hey, you can keep all the parts together uh, and transform it without taking a part. But whatever it is, uh, I think it really limits the gimmick. The same thing applies for this dude as well. Who um in the box art, if you remember, they said the head can pop off. And you you can, but like, dude, it's hard to get back on there without screwing it on, uh, screwing it off. And I even emailed Hasbro and I asked them, hey, what's the official verdict? They said, no, 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 it's not supposed to come off. Uh, sorry about that. And so that drawing on the back of and by the way, this is it. You can't take anything else off. Dude, this is this this is it. So despite the back of the um the box showing that the head pops off, it it's not supposed to. You can take it off, and, and it's a 5 million. You can use it for, like, Core Volcanicus. You can even use it here, because this dude's head pops. Oh, yeah. I should say, this this head pops off. And this is also on a 5 milli. So I'll be fair. I'll be fair and say that is an extra piece. And so, yeah, his head can't pop off like that. Um, I wish it could, but, but it can't. But anyway, yeah, so you just have this solid block. This solid block. And again, this solid block right here. And, uh, you know, before, like I said, before we get into any type of building, like, this can't be removed. I, I, I wish this would have been removable. It would have been great to have a nice chunky forearm piece that you could adhere to, like, watch this, like, imagine we had this bit as, like, a shoulder, and then you can just plug that down into there. That would have looked nice. That would have been really cool, but they put it on a mushroom peg, and uh, I get it. No, I don't. I, I wish they hadn't done that. Yeah, I wish it, it would have just been a standard 5 milli. This one I can kind of understand because, look, like, this is not a very, uh, it's, it's a very thin piece, you know? And so to put a hole in there in a 5 milli, it probably wouldn't have gone deep and the arm would have probably come up, come off a lot. But I am a little concerned because you see in there, there's just a tiny little, uh, it's just a, what is it, like a bolt, like, like a, it doesn't have any screw marks. It's just a bolt. And that's what's connecting it together, you know? Uh, so I'm, I'm a little afraid. I, I, mean, I don't think it's going to pop off, but I, I can understand why this arm is not removable. But the forearms, I think the forearms should have been removable. Yeah, and I don't know, like this piece over there, 
or over there, over here. I wish they made this removable. It would have been cool to have a set of thighs like Brunt or something like that. And he, it, uh, it has the opposite connection, the female ports, you know. And so I think that would have been, I think that would have been cool, man. I think that would have been cool. But uh, what are you going to do, right? And um, uh, again, uh, one thing I was going to share is I, I was supremely disappointed in, in Scraphook. And all of this, all the things that I'm talking about, their inability to come, out, come apart in the way that I want was stressing me out. Yeah, I mean, right. I must have a pretty cush life if something like this is stressing me out. But the reality of it is it just wasn't meeting my expectation. And that's when I realized that's my fault. Why am I having these false expectations for these toys and like, you know, for what the designers made? More than anything, I should just accept it. You know, I should just accept it. And these these guys are what the, what they are. And you know what? After I kind of had that mindset and I accepted them, I, I was able to start building better things. Yeah. And, and so I don't know. It was just a code switch in my mind that I needed to do. But anyway, anyway, enough of that fortune cookie stuff, right? So these these yeah, these pieces over here, I think, are actually very similar. You can see that they both have the the bend bendy peg. It's just like a larger version. And while this one collapses up to have the hole there this one collapses to have the hole here so to some degree it's you can use them in very similar ways like for instance i don't know if this will go over here because i haven't tried but okay there, there's clearance i mean i probably wouldn't do that because he's huge but um like which one was i trying to do never mind but um but yeah, it can be used in the same way. It can be used in the same way. Like one of the builds that I did before was like we had uh, like this is a common technique used with the Evo Fusion Fusionizers. Somebody somebody dubbed them that. I forget who it was, but it's a brilliant name. You know, this this is kind of cool that you can do that. And uh, this I actually first saw. I think it was G0X2 from uh, Instagram. And uh, more or less, you can do the same gimmick, you know, more or less, you can just kind of do the same stuff. And I have done the same type of stuff on one of my um, trash golems and stuff. And so, yeah, but I think more than anything, I actually like this as a foot. I like this as a foot better. Like, hold up. So I have a trash golem that I made over here. And like this could technically kind of go under his foot. Um, yes, I bought two Trash Masters, and I actually ordered one more. I don't know why. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll cancel that one. But th this acts as a foot, and uh, it's great. You, you can plop guys on top of this, especially the larger figures, and they look good. They look good. I, let, me, let me see if he would look good with it. His own foot. Nah, it's not hateful. It's not hateful. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. But... Yeah, like I said, this and this, similar functionalities. This is pretty unique. This is kind of unique in that this probably makes the makes the build, makes the bit. Because if I take this body, let's say, and uh, I do one of those, um, I have a couple of builds where I like flip the torso over and then use the back as the front. If you do this and you see those, those geez, if you, if you see those ports over there, you can plug like, you can plug, dude, right there. And you can spin the arm around. And if you're wondering, how did I just spin that arm around without the elbow popping off, right? Did I add any lubricant or anything? Nope. What you got to do is instead of putting the force here, you, you, you have to add force this way. So instead of just twisting, press up like that and twist. If you just twist here, okay. Now I've kind of made it loose, but yeah. And you can do that for axle grease and toe line as well. But you pop that in here and you do that. And that's kind of cool. And I've done that for a lot of builds, Cyclonus, um, a, a variety of them. But yeah, that's not bad. And so that's a good shoulder pauldron. Um, but it's also a good like arm, like I said, if you need to bake that in here and speaking of bake yeah what's up the bakertron yeah <laughs> i don't know just decided to say what's up the bakertron uh bakertron is a really cool builder on uh instagram he's a lot of great stuff and uh, one of the things that i mentioned a lot um his black iron hide with red cog uh, the series of stuff that he did with that is absolutely phenomenal um so yeah shout out to bakertron <laughs> um but yeah so this works kind of like that and that's cool that's cool 
But on some of the bigger builds, when you use that gimmick, it looks like he has tiny baby arms. And so um, one of the things that G0X2 did, and it's just brilliant, I, I love the way his mind works, is he, I don't know, he connected two of these together and he beefed it up. I, I, I can't recall how it looked um, off memory, but no, nah, it was tight. It was tight, whatever he did. And I'll, I'll, ugh, I'll have to look it up later. Um, what else we got? This is a really unique piece in that this is clearly designed with stuff like this in mind. You know, this is not an accident that the spacing between these two tires uh, are perfect for this. That's that's not on accident. And also, of course, when the scrap hook, or not scrap hook, crash bar motorcycles together, this fits appropriately as well. And so, yeah, they certainly did think about synchronicity. And uh, I've seen, uh, I think it was Prime, Prime vs. Prime, uh, that dude, um, he did the Junkasaurus tutorial and uh yeah he also showcased this part it works like this because it this has to be secure you know this has to be secure to to get anything to to peg onto here um but yeah whoa oh it almost fits because i was thinking like one and one and i thought this one would go in but then there's there's no peg over there but yeah anyway so you can see that there's a uh, synchronicity that is baked in i wonder if there's more stuff that that they natively designed to work together with one another and um like, uh, what was I going to say? That we just haven't figured it out yet, you know? Yeah. So the first build that I did is like, again, just trying to just trying to work with this. Um, I just made a Trash Master with armor. Yeah, with armor. And um, I, I just took the Trash Master toy. And uh, then I just added a bunch of stuff on top of him, you know? Um and at that time, when I first did that, I used two, I used two, um, what is it? Two scrap hooks. But now we're just using one, 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 just one, 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 right? And so we got to think, all right, well, what are, what are we going to make, right? And usually, I'm trying to get more of this in the shot. Usually when I'm um, making stuff, I ask myself like, okay, what are the feet going to look like? That actually does a lot. That actually sets the stage for me because um, I like having the stability um, my builds often aren't that posable, but they are very stable, uh, especially with the help of those little white pieces of paper. And so now we're just kind of thinking to ourselves, how are we going to combine this dude? How are we going to keep him stable, right? And um, there's different ways we can go about doing this. But in this case, I was going to say uh, it is important that we work on the feet too. But I also think it's extremely important that we decide what we're going to do with the torso. Um in case in point, like you got to do something with this, right? Like these things are a little bit smaller and before I've converted them into like pew pews and stuff, but we got to ask ourselves, what are we doing with this? What, what are we going to do with this? I mean, I know he can turn into some type of like accessory, like a weapon or something where the, where the robots like hold it in front of them. Uh, hold up for a second. Let me, Whoa, what's going on? And if you're wondering where I got my um, Trash Masters, yo, what is going on? Uh, I got them from the CMD store. Um, I don't know. There's a bunch of rumors, uh, like, because the CMD store, the, the, the toy price is just a standard toy price. Just the shipping is higher. And people are like, oh, they steal stuff and blah, 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 blah. And like, you know, and I'm, and I'm not dismissing anyone who says that. But uh, if you truly do believe that and you want to toss those accusations and stuff, probably should have proof, right? Um, I have proof as to why that shipping is so expensive or like they charged me eight, 18 or 15 or 18 bucks basically to get this over. You know why? It's coming from Canada. And even if I, uh, what is it? Send a small item, dude, it's like 12, 13 bucks. And so 15, $18 to ship this larger guy, I'm not too mad at it at all. And even if I had ordered two of these at the same time, it would have been the same price. So I don't know. I don't think it's that hateful. And I'm probably going to continue to shop from them because they just tend to get stuff early. Yeah, they just tend to get stuff early. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying that you got to like them either. But, you know, if you do feel in a negative way about them, do the research first. See if it's true. See if it's true. Like I purchased from them and I see it coming from Canada. And so I've kind of made up my mind. And so is what it is. Yeah. But hey, no hate. No, no hate at all. You can feel however you, you, you want about them. I'm serious. And uh doesn't bother me anyway. Yeah, doesn't bother me. Um, all right. So I'm, I'm, I've kind of not necessarily resigned, but I've decided that I'm going to use uh, 
this is a sorry I, f I forgot to I forgot to attach the head then I'm gonna use this chunky thing as the torso so I'm gonna get the head back there I'm gonna pop it back that's extremely tight uh, I, I do love the design though I mean I love thematically how beautifully they, they all like work together the motif the design motif the colors and stuff it, it's phenomenal yeah and um, I'm not saying like anything like negative about this whoever designed this is they must have put a ton of thought and a ton of work into this and so uh, my, my deepest appreciations to everyone who worked on this because otherwise i wouldn't have content you know i wouldn't have hobbies and, and like things to build and stuff like that because i kind of got out of my lego phase i still always like transformers and the and so this is kind of like the best of both worlds so please hasbro keep doing this and whoever designed this uh most likely a takara designer uh from what i understand the engineering I heard that, so I'm not sure if this is true, but I heard a lot of the visual design in terms of how they want it to look comes from Hasbro, but the engineering and stuff and making it happen comes from Takara. Again, I don't know for sure. Those are just things that I hear. But um, anyway, so we, we or I have made up my mind to basically use this as a uh, torso. Now, in terms of how we use this as a torso, um, dude, should I make a second video right now? Because... <laughs> It's getting kind of long, right? All right, I'm just gonna stop it right here, and uh, you're probably like, "No, I watched this all this all this way," but I don't know. I don't think most of you are watching this far. But I'm just gonna stop, and I'm gonna make a part two. Okay? So uh, yeah, I'll be back. One sec.